Hi, I'm a blogger from marketingforbeginner.blogspot.com. See you again with this marketing topic. Today, I will explain you about offline and online marketing. Enjoy this video. In this presentation, uh, first of all, I will explain you differences between online marketing and offline marketing. I will show you the differences in three aspects. They are tools and media. We will see the differences how online marketing uses the tools and media and what tools or media which is used by offline marketing. The second aspect of the difference is cost. The third aspect is number or number of prospects who can be reached. After knowing the differences between online and offline marketing, I will explain you how to integrate offline and online marketing. And you will see the example based on best practices in marketing activities. Now we take a look on online marketing. Online marketing is marketing activities that use internet technology as a tool and internet as a media. Then we look at offline marketing. Offline marketing is marketing activities that use media other than internet. I'm sure now you are understanding the fundamental difference between online and offline marketing. Now I will show you media or tools which are used by online marketing. The first sample is website or blog. It means you can create company website that show the information all about your company. Or you can perform one of content marketing strategy on your blog. Next is email marketing. Email is one of the media that can be used to your marketing activities. This media is suitable for company that has email list of customer or prospects. With this channel, you can give valuable information to your list so that you can engage with them. Social media. This channel or this media is one of the famous channel. Through social media site, you can engage with your customer and prospect. Several medias which can be utilized are Facebook, Twitter, G+, Pinterest, and LinkedIn. Next is banner marketing. You can create an appeal image as a banner and you can put it on your own web or you can pay amounts of money to put your banner on people's web. Now is PPC marketing. PPC stands for paid per click. This is one of the marketing strategies which is utilized by most of online marketer. And so on. You will find another examples on my blog. Now it turns to offline marketing. The first media that which can be utilized is newspaper. You can put your ads in newspaper, like the picture. 
or you can put your ads on magazines. The next alternative media is brochure. Flyers. TV or radio. And many more. Now we will see the differences in cost aspect, space, media, ads creation, human resources, and etc. Space, the cost we spend is based on the location or space whether the location is strategic or not. The more strategic the location, the more money you will spend. TV The cost we spend is based on what program will put our ads or it is prime time or not, and so on. Usually, media like TV is more expensive than radio or newspaper. In offline marketing, there are many people who involve in creating ads process, so more cost is needed. You can save the budget if you perform online marketing, such as organic search in search engine marketing, or content marketing in your own blog. But you need more money if you want to perform paid search like PPC or in social media, Facebook ads, and so on. Number of audiences who can be reached. As you can see, we can only reach a maximum number of printed newspaper. If we put our ads on newspaper. Our ads is only read as many people who are reading the newspaper and who read your ads. But if we perform online marketing, we can reach audience more as many people views your website. So in online marketing, you can reach more audience than offline marketing. Now I inform you the sample of integrating online and offline marketing. First example is, suppose you meet people in community events that you have joined. After friendly talking, you can request their email address. These emails are for stay in touch with them. You can inform them and make an offer. Send them more details of product or service and give them related information. By doing this, they will give their email voluntarily. The more prospects you find, the more email you will get. It is called list building, collecting customer or prospect email in your list. By this, you can invite them special event. You can give them special coupons for discount. You can write excellent sales letters that can be effective in increasing conversions. You can keep in touch with your customer because you know that customer of prospects who interacts with you offline may forget after months, but if you email him, it can be a potent reminder, so it can make them do a repeat buying. As an active marketer, you should attend the networking events, business groups, 
community gathering and so on. You can give your business card. The things that you have to do is put your website URL in your business card so that people who meet you and get your business card can see your website address. The third example. Now the things that you can do is create your personal video or your presentation video and put it up on YouTube or another video site. So in the next events and people ask you about something, you can give your video presentation site. You can inform him. For more details, please see my presentation video on YouTube channel. Like this. I recap my explanation before. So now you are understanding the differences between online and offline marketing in three aspects. Tool or media, cost, number of audience who can be reached, and then you are understanding how to integrate offline and online marketing by seeing the example of marketing activities. Thank you for watching. See you in the next marketing tutorials video. If you want to read more information rehearsal, you can read my blog in this URL. Or you can click the link on the description below. Bye!